Dave Duray. Great to be back at Seco. Been challenging times over the last 18 months. Always excited to be here. Innovation, we're going to be talking about, and also sustainability. But before I start going on about that, I'd like to introduce yourselves and a little bit about Seco. Who wants to go first? <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, it's great to have you back here again, Jason. Um, you know, it's always great to welcome yourself and the World Guard team through the door. Uh, and yeah, just just to introduce myself to the audience, my name is Dave Magnall. I've worked for Seco since 2009. Uh, current role, I'm Innovation Partnership Manager. So everything about my role centers around collaboration, essentially. So I get the pleasure of working with yourselves on a, on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I'm DeRay Collett. I've been with Seco for a few years now. And um, my main role here is in marketing, uh, both in the UK and globally and I work on our global events. Thank you. Innovation is something that always associated, always associate with Seco and the, the events you do, which have been so successful over the last few years. And it's been great for us to be part of it with yourselves and seeing how you encumber many different areas of engineering. Um, we'd like to sort of discuss next event coming up. Super excited also to be involved with, of course, What's it going to be about, Dory? Well, oh, Dave. <laughs> uh, first, before we get there, I just want to, why do we innovate? You know, why, why do we put all this time, energy and effort in, into innovating? And a lot of that is, we've had a step change over the years on, on how we go about our business. So in the past, we may have developed products and told industry, this is what you need. Things have changed now. What we do, we, we take a much more customer-centric yeah. or industry-centric mm -hmm. approach and we, we look at what the issues and challenges are surrounding manufacturing, and then we try and present a solution to that. So rather than develop a product and hope it fits, or a solution, we, we listen to our customers, we listen to manufacturing, we wanna know what's keeping people awake at night, you know, those problems that are, are stopping them from being productive, or yeah. quality issues, or sustainability issues. Exactly. And so, that, so that's why we innovate, you know, we really wanna move the needle forward in addressing those industry challenges and problems, um, which which is why we sort of do the event. I mean, it's doing... such a big piece of it is is yeah, putting together collaborative solutions to help solve customer issues, right? So the customer has these things, like Dave says, that are keeping them up at night. Yep. No one of us, whether it's Seco or right. any of our partners, on their own can solve this, those problems to the magnitude that, that, that is needed or yeah. necessary, right? And so we do, that's what Innovation Hub is about, it's what our event is about. We pull those partners together and, and wrap these collaborative solutions around the customer problems. Yeah. So we're customer focused, building excellent relationships with our partners and the customer by solving their problems with huge benefit as opposed to l the yeah. little bits that you know one of us could do on our own yeah and it's the challenges i believe that you know if you, you don't pick easy jobs you pick challenge i mean i know for the the events of the particular aerospace the challenges you pick on the different kind of components um different type of materials fantastic to see but we're starting to see a lot more now with the challenges on industry with sustainability yeah. and the environment um, we're seeing it a lot now with our customers coming much higher up on their lists. Mm -hmm. And you know, I know Seco, very close to your hearts is, is the sustainability. Yeah. Um, can you sort of go through some of the challenges you've seen in that? Yeah. I mean, just to touch on the sustainability aspect, you know, everything about this building that we're in today, that there's so many sort of sustainable aspects that the carpets are all recycled materials. So these are actually recycled fishing nets. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> yeah. we, we have solar panels on the roof, so we generate our own power. We have waterless urine. There's so many. Mm. So we, we do practice what we preach. We're big believers in sustainability, but we do live and breathe that in our own facility every mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. um, the thing about sustainability, you know, it has a big impact on, on how we make as well. You know, it's not it, the environmental sort of challenge really can be addressed by some of the things that we look to address in a manufacturing environment. So we know one of the biggest impacts we can make is reducing consumption. Mm -hmm. You know, we consume too much power, too much energy. We consume too much in the way of consumable goods. We consume too much raw material. And one of the biggest impacts we can make is, is to reduce that consumption. And I, I think this is where you guys come in with your technology, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we, we're close to our heart because we, we, you know, we, we yeah. supply a product that saves coolants and oil. 
but we're seeing it a lot more now that, that people, obviously we want to save customers money, which is key, um, but you know, the wastage issues now, and that's one of the big points of, you know, one of the points of sustainability. And I think we talk about sustainability and people think, oh, it's this big subject for big companies. Uh, and this is where we want to get the point over to SMEs, immediate, small, medium-sized enterprises, that it, it actually can, a lot of things can be achieved by bite-sized chunks. Yeah. But getting that information of what you can do and feasibly do and realistically do, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's important to get, a, get across and see the benefits and obviously show where funding is available, which there is an awful lot of now as well on that side of things. I agree. I think it's people understanding that relevance. You know, mm -hmm. sustainability isn't just for the big boys, the OEMs. You know, it, we can all make an impact. We can yeah. all make a difference. But it's, it's understanding what that knock-on effect is to their processes and, and to their cost effectiveness yeah. as well. You know, I, I think a lot of people worry that addressing sustainability issues in their manufacturing is going to cost them a lot of money. Yeah. And whilst there may be an initial investment in, in certain technologies, there's also a payback as well. Absolutely. And I think if people understand that there's that side of it as well as having the environmental impact. And that, but I think it's really getting that grasp of that relevance. What does it mean to me as a manufacturer, as, a, as an SME, as a smaller manufacturer? Where, where can I do my bit and what's the impact of that? For sustainability too, I mean, at Seco and, and personally, I think of sustainability as more than just the environmental yeah. sustainability, yeah, right? Definitely. For us, we've, um, our company is elected to um, adhere to a number of the UN develop, um, Sustainable Development Goals. And they cover everything, not just environmental, the yeah, environmental absolutely. impact, which is paramount. However, there's also, there are other ways to innovate, for example, to yeah. be more sustainable, for example, with um, diversity, right? Yeah. Gender diversity, um, ability diversity, when you have more diverse views at the table making mm -hmm. decisions, you have a, a key to innovation because you are now suddenly opening mm -hmm. a door to so many more perspectives, right? Yeah. And that, that, um, that diversity, the, that human resource diversity and sustainability, and then also the environmental impact sustainability is always going to have an effect on the bottom line. And that's where you become fiscally and economically res responsible and sustainable yeah. as well. Kind of like There's wheel, those three it? pieces. It's, yeah. Absolutely. It's, it's a wheel. Yeah. It's, you know, we, we use a sustainability wheel where we, you know, with, with the environmental society and people. Yeah. Yes. You know, and that's, that's important right. that we get all that balance right. And, yeah. and it's how we do that because it isn't just, you know, we say environmental, you know, wastage and you know, that's very important. But like you say, Dora, it's really important to get the people aspect. Absolutely. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think most of us, you know, a happy workplace. If people are happy working in a really clean environment, they're getting their views across, it's got to be a win-win, hasn't it? I think that's it. If you've got an engaged workforce mm -hmm. who, who feel that their voices are heard, yeah. that they're given development opportunities, uh, both, you know, to, to progress academically, practically, yeah. they're given advancement opportunities. I, I think that is a massive part of sustainability. People mm -hmm. are the most important aspect of your Absolutely. business. We, sure. we value their well-being, people's yeah. well-being as well, and especially having, you know, just coming or continuing to come through a pandemic, you know, people's well-being is so yeah. important. Absolutely. And we were really fortunate this year. We've had an, a, an excellent team here at Seco that have been working and we are on a um, great place to work. And we've mm -hmm. become a great place to work in the um, uh, global rankings. And uh, it's kind of, Kind of an exciting it is thing, exciting, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, look, you're, really you're always that. my number one place to visit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I love it. Um, but such a big yeah. piece of that is because we, we care about people's well-being and, and we're yeah. working on that, you know. And it, 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 it's not perfect. But. No, but part of that team, that, that great place to work team, is to address those three parts that you talked mm -hmm. about, societal issues, yeah. environmental issues, and people issues. You know, yeah. that as a team, that's what we encompass yeah. in SECO. So when we say we live and breathe it, we, we really do. We have a team focus to it. it it's not their everyday role nope. but this is a bunch of committed individuals that are Who keen, recognize the yeah, value of it and the yeah. value of it absolutely and keen yeah. to drive it forward through the organization but not just through the organization but with collaborative partners absolutely. yourself well, that's you what know, it's we, about as well isn't it okay. i think yeah. to collaborate you've got to find companies and partners that are aligned to your values mm -hmm. to to the way that you want to work, to the way that you want to make an impact and have a difference. You know, it's so much easier if we come, if we, if we're all heading in the same direction, yeah. if we have that same sort of 
ethos and, and, and core value to, to work together. And I think, you know, that's why we're such a good fit. Yeah. You know, we, yeah. we do share a lot of the same values. You know, we, we put people first. Yeah. We care about the environment. We care about societal issues. And it makes us more productive and effective for our for customers. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> in, you know, Absolutely. overall. Yeah. And I've also looking forward to the innovation events, which, yeah. and great to hear the sustainability it's going to be part of it as well. So uh, how is it going to be part of it? How's the event going to work? So the event is a shop window to everything we're mm -hmm. talking about yeah. now, Jason. You know, we, we need a way to demonstrate that we collaborate to make a difference. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what ITI is, isn't it? Really yeah. is. Yeah. Our, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to, I mean, maybe just talk about yeah. the, how the event looks just, just so people can picture the event and be... Inspiration or, through innovation started as yeah. like a um, a physical event here at SECO and we had you know as many as five seven hundred people come through the doors over a couple of days all from the UK and then a couple of years ago we decided to make it a bit more global we had a number of customers and and um, and partners from around the world and then last year the pandemic hit yeah. and we were about to have a big partners meeting to get them the, the show started and, and get planning and we had to do it over teams <laughs> because we couldn't invite everybody yeah. on site and it really changed didn't it we it did, we got yeah. to innovate more than just um <laughs> it, it forced us to, in, yeah, to think more faster than just the than machine really technology did, yeah. and, and all of that so yeah we had to ch make some big changes so we moved um, everything to a virtual platform mm -hmm. we decided to produce some live some pre-recorded mm -hmm. content so, so, yeah. working with all of our partners we still have all the same exciting mm -hmm. content but just pre presenting it differently so we have yeah. uh, demonstrations like machining demonstrations about the exciting new things that are happening in the industry um, seminars and sessions some opportunities to talk back and forth with the you know the people yeah, who are presenting so, yeah. and it's it's live, it's online, yeah. <laughs> but you can still engage. Which and is it's, it's a super opportunity to the wider audience as well, isn't it? It's great to have, to have people, you know, and you know, we yeah. loved you know, yeah. the face-to-face -face contact, but I guess this gives us a good chance to get out to a wider audience and talk about these subjects and people can come in and out of these, these so areas, I guess, accessible. when they want to yeah. and accessible, what times they can, yeah. uh, which makes it, you know, I guess, beneficial for people who can't maybe get the chance to get out. Uh, and a wider and like reach that. too, yeah, you know, absolutely. we're yeah. getting... So, have the opportunity to have so many more people come and be part of those conversations. Much more inclusive, isn't yeah. it? You know, in the past it was, you had to be here to take part. Yeah. Now you don't. You just get to log in and, and you can interact as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we're putting a big emphasis on live interaction in the event. We believe that's where the, the energy comes from. And, and the greatest conversation and the greatest information we get as to what challenges people are facing yeah. is by giving them that platform to challenge us on the day, to ask us questions and yeah. to to really put us on the spot. Yeah. And, you know, very much like we're having this discussion today about sustainability and we've touched on, is it relevant to me as a manufacturer? Mm -hmm. How does we're, this affect me? Yeah. Yeah. We're opening up a whole panel debate on it on, on the mm -hmm. day. You know, yeah. we're, we're going to address sustainability. Well, I say address it, we're going to open sustainability yeah. up for discussion. Discuss, mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to do the same with digital and digitalization. You know, yeah. we believe a lot of people talk about it but what does it actually mean and what's the relevance to, yeah. to people in manufacturing? How does it affect every, yeah. you know, the customer? And, and we want to be challenged. Yeah. You know, we, we, we challenge ourselves, well, we think that's, we challenge yeah. ourselves, but we want yeah. people to throw challenges at us, you know, bring exactly. it on, is what we say. Yeah. Well, I think you know, it, it's always a fantastic experience. I love it, the, uh, the, uh, the event. So if I want to get on there, how do we, do we is there links and yeah. stuff? I'm sure we're going to have links after the, after For sure. uh, our, our discussion how to go down. So the show's going to be in the event's going to be it's in November twenty third and twenty fourth. Um, it is which is a Tuesday and a Wednesday. Yeah. And um, yes, the event website will be available soon. And uh, yeah, we'll promote it as soon as we can. But save the date. <laughs> save the date for the twenty third yeah. and twenty fourth. And um, we have. Uh, two mornings worth of yeah. content to, to share. So That's we can't awesome. wait to engage with everyone. Now. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to say thank you very much for today. Yeah. Thank great you. Great to be here. Pleasure as always, Jason. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. It's really good to have you yeah. back here. Yeah. Thank <laughs> it's you. nice very to be stuff. together, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thanks.